Hello and welcome back to the Media Zone here in the DevNet Zone at Cisco Live. We're really excited to have you here because we're able to cover everything from network automation to programmability to software and applications here at Cisco Live in the DevNet Zone. I am joined by Gary Tondini. Uh, my name is Ryan Rose. I am the uh, Chief of Staff for the Cisco Developer Relations team. And we are here today to talk about everything connected to learning and certifications at Cisco Live. Uh, Gary, uh, pleased to meet you. And thank you. would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, thank you so much, Ryan. Uh, so I'm Gary Tondini, and uh, I will say I'm still a, a newbie at Cisco, uh, <laughs> celebrating nine months at this point. Hey, but, no, uh, you're 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 a veteran I'm now. A veteran. Okay, I can't <laughs> use the newbie card anymore. No, it's been uh, it's been an amazing nine months. Uh, I previously came in from uh, stints at uh, at T-Mobile, a little bit of consulting with Boston Consulting Group and oh, Microsoft yeah. before that. So the gray hairs have been uh, well earned, <laughs> but uh, super excited to be part of this new experience that we're creating. And uh, I came on board as a, a senior director on the learning experience to really drive a new learner first approach to learning and certification take the rich history that we have and really push it forward into new areas oh wow um, Gary we are super excited to have you here I, I, I will say too personally I'm very excited to be talking with you uh, for those who know me here at Cisco I actually started in the learning and certifications oh, okay. uh, team and um, uh, worked on some of our early certifications so I completely agree. We have this amazing history, this uh, unbelievable, unparalleled uh, background in certifications, training, and learning. And not only do we have great programs, we also have some brand new initiatives. Yes. Uh, at Cisco Live, we've launched Cisco U. Yes. Um, uh, everybody seems to be really excited about it. It was just talked about in the keynote. Uh, we have analysts that have been uh, talking about this, people that are really excited because of what this means. Uh, could you tell our audience a little bit about what Cisco sure. U is? Yeah, it's, uh, it is very exciting. Uh, Tamaya talked about it this morning. We were uh, super stoked to get uh, his input, and he really has been a, a key uh, driver of this. Uh, oh, wow. When I, as I said, I just you know, I came on board. I met with Tamaya, and he was like, "We, we need to do things as as the organization changes, our learning and certification needs to change." So we we went out. We talked to a lot of our learners, uh, our partners, our customers, to really figure out what we needed to do. And and it came to to kind of three core principles. Um, one of them is around guidance. Mm. You know, as as we have, it's currently in our digital library over eleven thousand pieces of content. How do I wade through all of this? How do I know what to do? If, if I want to get certified, what path do I take? If I want to become a security analyst, that role, what do I need to know to do that? So you know, guidance is really a critical piece. And so we, we incorporated a lot of that into what we're building for Cisco U. The second one is really around community. You know, mm. in, in our Cisco Learning Network, we have over a million active community members. Yeah. How do we bring them in with the learning? Today, they're kind of separate. We have community, we have learning. We really need this, this umbrella that uh, brings all of those pieces together. Doesn't mean we're replacing some of this stuff, but we're really creating a, a, an umbrella, as I said, to, to invite everybody in and share ideas, share the community piece to it. And the third is really that depth. I mean, you know, we, we have amazing content today. We need to modularize it. We need to make it easier to consume in small pieces, but we need to lean into that depth of content. You know, we've, we've done certifications now for 29 plus years and in an amazing community of that. We also have all these hands-on labs. So we want to continue that depth of content, but we're also now expanding it. We're bringing in adjacency. So part mm -hmm. working with partners to say, hey, you know, an ecosystem isn't all about just Cisco. Yeah. It really is, what is that ecosystem? So yes. a hybrid cloud, well, how do I work with HashiCorp? How do I work with Skillsoft? How do I bring in other pieces? We're making sure that that umbrella is big to be able to work with partners and bring in that content. Now, HashiCorp is actually one of your major partners that is a part of this, if yes. I'm correct. Yes, yes, um, our launch. How are you working with uh, Hashi on this? So we're, at, we're getting content from them. You know, in previous times, we would say, hey, Hashi, we need to rebuild your content for us. That doesn't work anymore. You know, in today's environment, you want content from all kinds of places, and you want it today. Mm -hmm. So instead of going and refactoring or rebuilding their content, we say, okay, here's some guidelines. Let's work together. We know you have great expertise. 
bring it in direct, bring it in native instead of having to rebuild it. Now, you know, and just as someone who's on the DevNet side, that partnership with Hashi, I'm so excited about. Um, last March, uh, we Cisco announced its larger partnership with ha Hashi, and uh, we were able to do all of these amazing new things in mm -hmm. infrastructure as code. You know, you were talking about hands-on labs, all right. these abilities to be able to have people be able to use Intersight and Terraform together. Yep. I, I think it's so great that you've been able to get these partnerships uh, as a part of this launch for Cisco U. Um, you brought up a number of really great things that are all connected to this launch. Yep. One of the things though that I, I really like, and it's very important to DevNet, is we really want our communities, and, and I will say that, and people watching I'm sure will reflect this, is that m many of the people that are in our certification community also in our DevNet community. Right. Um, because uh, it's people that are in network engineering, they are people that are in automation. Um, what have you, how has that, feedback from the learners really guided how you built Cisco U? It, it was the, the, the primary principle. You know, we, we started with learner first. Mm -hmm. um, too many times I've seen organizations try to literally ship the org chart instead <laughs> of taking care of the learner or the customer. Mm -hmm. And so our, our whole principle around this learner first, what do they need, how do we make it simple for them? You know, Tamaya talked a little bit this morning and, and Todd about simplification. We need to simplify throughout the entire journey of our customers, of our learners, of our partners. So that's that's a real key that we're working on. Right on. Um, another thing that you brought up, and I know we've, we were even talking about this before the show, mm -hmm. is um, often, and, and, and this is from my time in the certification world, uh, I remember that if you ever trying to get a certification, especially the advanced certifications, you were building a lab at home. Yeah. And and one of the common complaints that, uh, and, and I wouldn't say complaints, challenges that was faced by a lot of people was having even the space to store all those boxes. Sure. Um, uh, I remember people that I talked to were like, yeah, I keep having to justify a larger and larger table. But you actually now have all of these hands-on labs that are a part of the Cisco U environment, so that way you don't have to build that lab at home. You can Absolutely. actually uh, test with uh, the things that are in Cisco U. Yeah, and that's that's so important. You know, we see that that labs become a real differentiator, an ability to do it hands-on, not just sit back and watch somebody else do a lab on a, watching a video, but really being able to do that. And, and we have, we work with partners around the world, yeah. to be able to have labs available in all different places, because it is a huge investment of hardware on our part, as well as having the virtualized labs together. So all of that is super important, especially as we start really thinking about continuing education. You know, I mean, this, this tech market, I've been in it a long time, it keeps moving faster and faster and faster. <laughs> in order to do that continuing education, to stay up with the latest things, you need to be able to just get on, get it done, and move forward. Uh, you know, this program, I feel like, is always in a state of like constant evolution. And back when it was just the certification, back when um, uh, you know uh, CCNA started to expand, and uh, we started to really build all of these new programs to when the portfolio changed in 2020 and relaunched right. in February of 2020. Yes. The launch of the DevNet certifications, again, constant innovation, constant evolution. Um, uh, the changes to recertification, I think, uh, have also been really welcomed by our community, mm -hmm. being able to recertify, not just through exams, right. but with also uh, qualified training opportunities, or both at the same yes. time. Um, and I, it sounds like Cisco U is actually going to be a big part of that continuing recertification story. Yeah. No, that's, it's a huge component of what we're doing, as well as expanding certifications. You know, earlier, as you know, earlier this year, we had the, the DevNet expert coming hey, in. Hey, DevNet expert. So, so amazing, and, and the uptake has been incredible on that. You know, we need to continue to expand. Again, technology is not going to sit still. We have to be leading the way for it. Oh, that's awesome. And again, I'm a huge fan of this program, um, uh, not just as a former uh, member of this team, but then also as a member of DevNet, and to be able to have our DevNet certification it's been a great partnership, um, our team and your team together. Yes. And I think that's actually one of the great parts is that this is really an and story. Correct. Whether it's Cisco Learning Network, Cisco U, DevNet, developer.cisco.com, it right. seems like we are just providing a tremendous amount of tools 
experience to our community, to our customers, really to learners all over the world. Yes, absolutely. And, and the teams working together has been fantastic, both you know, my teams and, and what we've done to get this there, but also that broader audience working across the aisle to, with the DevNet folks has been amazing. And we really look for this next year more and more to that to happen. Excellent. Well, I know we're coming up to the end of our time here, okay. so I will ask if someone's got questions that's watching at home, they sure. want to learn more about Cisco U, where can yeah. they go? Um, so we are having uh, an early access sign up, so go over to uh, our site and look at what we're doing, sign up for the early access, you'll be able to get it before it comes out uh, for the general public, and dive in, have some fun, and send us feedback, we love it. We Excellent. want to hear from everybody. Excellent, and if you aren't a member of the Cisco Learning Network right now, you can go to learningnetwork.cisco.com to uh, learn more, and of course you can find all of the information about what's happening here at Cisco Live and DevNet at developer.cisco.com. Gary, just want to thank you again for thank joining you. us today. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much, and to all of you at home that are watching us. Thank you for joining us and I hope that you've enjoyed this session and enjoy everything that we're producing here in the Media Zone at Cisco Live in the DevNet Zone. Thank you again. I'm Ryan Rose and I'll be seeing you. Bye.